is Jack here. Today we're going to be looking at native instruments expansions. Not machine expansions, just plain expansions now. They're new and they are meant to not only work with Machina, but in any DAW or any sampler. Hey Boris, we'll get to you later. Um, so let's take a look. There are a lot of uh, different options here and you can kind of see um, some of the changes. So now you get all of the samples, you get some drum kits, um, presets for some of the native instruments since um, some construction kits which we'll take a look at later uh, projects and machina exclusive stuff so we'll be looking at one uh, when I got my machina just a few months ago which I'm still learning um, I picked up an expansion as well, um, Crystal Daggers. Thought it sounded kind of cool. I got a half price, which I recommend that you would. Native Instruments has always given out $25 e-vouchers, and these expansions seem like a good, um, a good price for $25. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at one of the tracks that I made today. Um, I just kind of threw, sketched down some ideas. I haven't mixed it. Um, so it's a little bit rough, but this is using the Crystal Daggers Native Instruments expansion. again. Cool. So there it is. Um, we'll go a little bit more into detail of what parts of these is, are from the expansion and what parts are not. Um, installing these expansions are, it's really easy. Uh, you pretty much download it, then you download Native Access, which handles all of Native Instruments products now. Um, and you just install it. If you already have a Machina pack, then you go here and update. The update was pretty big. Um, it was like a gigabyte. Um, but yeah, the weird thing is, so it puts it in a real goofy place. Um, I spent a, a while looking for it until I realized that it showed it right here. Um, 
So you'll just want to check when you install it. It's in a kind of goofy place. Um, so we've got users, and it's not under like the admin user. It was under public, which is odd, and then public documents with, I guess, all the rest of the native instrument stuff. I don't know. Maybe I screwed up and told it to be there, but I don't know why I would have done that. Um, but once you find it, um, you'll get a nice organized uh, folder full of all the stuff that you need. So groups, this is going to be pretty much like your standard uh, groups that you would see in the Machina expansion. Um, so that's not particularly different. Uh, same with projects. These are just the projects you would open in Machina. Um, it's the uh, samples that is pretty new so it it gives a nice um organized view of all the different samples that are available in the pack as well as some cool loops and so this is way different um so with each pack actually we'll go ahead and open it this is the same thing right here so we have Kind of with each kit, it'll come with a bunch of loops, presumably from the saved projects. But they're organized really well. a lot of time just listening to all of these. So those are the uh, construction kits, which are super fun to play with. And a lot of these, um, some of the loops I'm using here, oops, that came from the construction kits. Um, and you have a folder name the percussion God. and then some synth loops so that's cool and then also you got some one shots here um, which I also used pretty heavily uh, like some of these these were all uh one shots so that's cool um but yeah it's organized really well i'm pretty happy with it particularly since i bought it a while ago used it a little bit on machina but now it's like a hundred times more useful to have all of that in a nice organized little folder so i can use it in my projects that i don't use machina which right now is all of my projects since I'm still not very good at using Machina. Um, so let's take a look at this track. We'll go through some of the instruments I used. Um, this right here is not part of the track. I just wrote that. Um, although I did listen to one of these samples and got inspired by it and wrote this. So it was still helpful. Um, this I'm using Prism. Wild Amazonas. Amazonas. That's the preset I'm using. I don't think I've ever used Prism in any of my tracks before, but I did on this one, so money well spent. Um, and then Kinetic Metal is just doubling it as well. I like this plugin. I've used it a couple of times. It's fun. Lots of weird presets that I would never use ever unless I was like making trash can music. But there's also a lot of really pretty cool, awesome ones. Um, and then this bass part right here. So 
So for the bass, um, just using a massive preset. And for the sub, I'm using form. I actually meant to use massive, um, and I accidentally picked up form, but it ended up working. Plus, you don't really need anything fancy for a sub bass. And I think those are all of the VSTs that I used, and the rest were all exclusively samples from the pack. Um, so a couple of these drums. Again, these were from the construction kit. Locks. This is some of these. And actually, I mixed and matched them. Um, so, okay, that's locks, and there was crystal. So when you put them together, it sounds like this. I chopped this one up a little bit because I didn't like, well, the first part I didn't like very much. And then we played these risers. So this one shot right here. turned into a melody so you can see it's just that this is a uh, reversed and then I just use different pitches of it so that's cool that works pretty well and yeah a couple more drum samples. I'm really bad at writing drums, so. It's really welcome to be able to just throw in drum samples and focus on the other stuff. And uh, last but not least, I thought this, uh, they had, a, I guess I reversed this. Um, yeah, it's one of the one-shot stabs. It sounds like a whale in distress. It's like the only way I can describe the sound. Um, I thought it was too funny not to include it, so I basically had to. Um, but yeah. Overall, I'm really excited about the change to the Machina expansions. And whereas I probably would not have gotten any other expansions um, before this change, now that they've made all these changes, I probably will pick up some additional ones in the future. Um, they're expensive at $50.00. Not sure they're quite worth a the fifty, but anytime I get one of those twenty-five dollar vouchers, um, I'll likely be picking one of these up. Um, it's they're just a lot easier to use now, um, and a lot more versatile. I can use them in a lot more different projects, um, and they they might not be the cheapest samples, but they're well organized and they're really high quality. So it's not like a grab bag of Oh, some of this is good and a lot of it sucks. It's generally all of this is super legit and pretty pretty awesome. Anyways, let me know what uh what you guys think about these uh new expansions at the with the new changes and if you plan on using them at all or what your experience has been with them. Uh but just figured I'd share some of the new stuff. <laughs>